I, I think uh, the next uh, uh, question is we really like to see, I mean, when, when you come at the practical level, of course, the policy framework is very helpful and so on. But usually, many of the challenges that we face are these policies are sometimes on paper, sometimes they may not work, and, and, and sometimes uh, they may not be interpreted the way they are. So in the end, what really matters is what's, what's really happening on the ground in terms of what are the various farmers groups are doing, what are the private sector people are doing, what, what's happening on the ground that make a difference uh, for the livelihood of uh, farmers and for the future of agriculture. So in that uh, respect, I would like to ask uh, uh, Adi to, to tell us what has been the experience in the Pacific in terms of linking and organizing, first of all, small order farmers and then linking them to agribusinesses. What are the opportunities and, and the challenges uh, that you see you have uh, experienced in the Pacific? Thank you, um, Michael. I think we're all aware of um, just the isolation that we have in the Pacific Islands. And uh, because of this isolation and small populations, we just don't have the markets. Um, we know that um, the people that live in these isolated areas um, have a agriculture as their most um, sustainable resource, but uh, they've used agriculture as a um, subsistence, um, and that's the idea they have in their heads. And I think the important thing is to uh, get them to change their mindsets so that they're looking at agriculture as a way for food security and also for using whatever surplus to earn a little bit of income. Um, what we've done in Samoa and in other parts of the Pacific is um, find ways to add value to the agriculture that uh, people are practicing on the smallholder farms. Um, most importantly, at the farm gate, and we're looking at that in terms of organic certification to international um, standards, and also fair trade um, certification. Uh, without these, the farmers don't have that value addition for themselves, because there are a lot of people setting up um, factories where they can bring coconuts to and what have you. Um, and so we're, we're just thinking how important it is that as much as possible of the production can be done by the farmer and then um, have their product go to market. And what, what we've, um, the experience in Samoa is that we are, um, our smallholder farmers who live <coughs> in rural villages are now the sole suppliers of the virgin coconut oil that goes to the body shop. And this um, product goes into 30 products in, I think, 65 countries uh, and into 3,000 shops. That's huge for uh, small um, farmers who live, you know, in very isolated areas. And I think the next challenge for us now is to increase the quantities and also to look around our region and maybe the Caribbean region as well to work together and, and hopefully share markets as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a you know, very, very interesting experience. Uh, so, what are the st strategies that you are looking at in terms of uh, scaling up? I mean, as you just uh, mentioned, that the next challenge is to really uh, create a volume so that you can meet the, the market demand because you seem to have the opposite problem that uh, you have the market, you don't have the enough product. So, what, what are the, some of the things you are looking at? Um, I think the, the, the most important thing is having the markets that, um, that have values, like with the body shop, that's where the, the values lie, where it took us. And what we're doing now is sharing our mistakes around the region, uh, trying to get the same organic certification processes, the same fair trade processes, and then hopefully, we hope very soon to be able to have the small island of Tonga join us um, with our, our uh, supplies to the body shop. And I know, you know, very small, one country at a time, but that's the way things happen for small countries. And, and I think if we just do it that way and just be out there and share 
share the business, share the markets it is um, what we need to be talking about, especially too with our, our bigger private sector people.